This is where it all began, in this van three years ago, when I made one of the most important decisions of my life and moved to Norway, the place that always felt like home to me. So much has happened since then and still this van has been a constant companion for us for all this time. It brought us so many beautiful memories already and somehow it even became a tradition for us to travel in it for a few weeks in the summer and explore new areas of Norway. Every spring I look forward to these weeks and this summer it was finally time to fill one of our last white spots on the map and visit the very north of Norway for the first time to experience the midnight sun and to see if we could maybe even imagine to settle there somewhere. So I really hope that you will enjoy traveling along with us a bit on this summer's road trip. <laughs> okay. So today is actually the second real day of our road trip mm -hmm. and the good weather has already left us. I guess that is a sign that we are coming further and further north. We are now already quite a bit above the polar circle. It's just so magical here. Uh, yeah, we, the, we had one day of sun. That might be it for the entire vacation. Mm -hmm. But even so, uh, there are misty clouds everywhere. It's really trollish outside. It's, uh, it's a magical, magical place. Yeah. The coastline of Norway is actually the second longest coastline in the world and a fascinating area with all its different islands, bays and majestic fjords. I find it just astonishing that people in the early days actually managed to live in a place like this. The wind blows in from the open sea with such force it barely allows any plants to survive. And also the steep mountain cliffs don't necessarily invite for a boat trip. And still, traveling by boat was and still is one of the main means of transport up here in the north, if you don't want to take huge detours. I love that there are still places that humans haven't conquered yet, where you just feel how much the nature is actually in charge. It's humbling, but in a very good way, and I feel so blessed to be able to experience that. Möchtest du was essen, Ivy? Möchtest du was essen? Ganz brav, ja, warte, 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 warte. Das ist ein gut erzogener Hund. We actually never really plan our trips, which often leads us to end up at places I have never even heard about. I really like being spontaneous like that. And on the other hand, I guess every photographer knows this very particular kind of stress, 
of just wanting to be at the right moment, at the right time. Especially when I'm surrounded by so much beauty, sometimes I just can't help but get worried I might miss something. And then the most magical moments just always happen when you least expect it. Like on that one hike that we did, where we almost were about to turn back, because the view that we hoped for was covered by a thick layer of clouds. It's crazy how our expectation can sometimes prevent us from seeing the magic that is right in front of us. Suddenly it was so quiet. It was like being in a different world. A world that is so far away from everything else. I can't really explain it, but it was like on that mountain, on that evening, the time was standing still for a moment. We are doing something a little bit unusual for us today <laughs> and that is that we are going on a city trip. Yeah. We are going to explore Tromsø today and that is where Joachim has lived for half a year. Half a year. <laughs> yeah. So now you do have to tell us a little bit about your time in Tromsø. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> right. So I studied here. Mm -hmm. It's um, almost 10 years ago now. I studied politics as I did everywhere I went. I can remember the student bar very well. <laughs> Way home a little bit less. I can remember the Northern Lights. That's the reason that you, that you came that here, right? That was the reason yeah. I came here. It was not really for the program or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I wanted to see the Northern Lights and I did. I had a room facing the north hmm. and I sat on my desk every night, uh, had my alarm at two o'clock and had my desk to the north and watched the Northern Lights. And I finished my first oil painting here while I probably should have been studying. <laughs> um, yeah, that was my time in Tromsø. So the city was pretty crowded today, probably because of this nice weather, and so we decided to do something that probably no one else would do, <laughs> and that is to go to the museum, to the, what is it? The Arctic the, Museum. The Tromsø Arctic Museum. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Today there's some kind of a marathon. Mm -hmm. Do 
or something like that? The, what was it? Midnight Sun Marathon in Tromsø. Midnight Sun Marathon. It's not really our environment. The mountains, no. it's fine. Mm -hmm. But the, the rest is just, it's, it seems... Really strange. Yeah. <laughs> Raining. Oh. oh, ich habe komplett vergessen, wie mm -hmm. das alles ist, wenn es nass ist. Ja, das ist, ich glaube, es ist ein gut, guter Wettervan, den wir hier haben. Das ist ein guter Wettervan. Es gibt auch kein Vorher hier. hier. Oh. Das vergisst man im Winter. Yep. Luckily, in northern Norway, the weather goes as quickly as it comes and we were so lucky to have a few last days of sunshine at the Lofoten Islands to fulfill one of our dreams, to experience the midnight sun. While in winter you can have up to several weeks of complete darkness, in summer, the northern hemisphere of our planet is turned towards the sun, which means it is basically day all the time. The sun is setting about midnight, and before it disappears behind the horizon, it goes up again. With these never-ending days, we completely lost track of time and place. You just don't get tired anymore and we even switched our rhythm to be able to be out in the nature during the night. I guess that feeling is exactly what makes traveling so amazing. You are so present in the moment, you forget everything that was and everything that will be. In times, I even forgot that we are looking for a new home again. Like some kind of pressure towards this whole topic has just relieved itself. And instead, I drove home with a strong feeling that in the end, it just doesn't really matter 
where we end up. I don't know if I could live with these extreme circumstances up here in the north, but who knows, I really have stopped making any assumptions and I know that when the time comes, we will know. And until then, I guess we will just see where life will take us. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I know that it has been taking me quite a while again, so I want to thank you for your patience and your support and I will see you very, very soon again. I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and I'm sending lots of love from Norway to wherever you are right now.